Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel where I do unboxings and occasionally I have a yard sale. Um, so this is my second yard sale and I wanted to show you what I'm doing and some different things that I did on this yard sale than I did on the last yard sale. So um, this is my CVS right here. I dropped everything to a dollar because it just wasn't moving as quickly as I wanted it to. So yeah, everything a dollar, everything a dollar. I still am having a couple stragglers dropping by. Um, and then this table is individually marked. I have my swimsuits that I had in a separate video um, yesterday, uh, which was Saturday, they were all $10, $10 and today they're six. Um, for having 50 bathing suits, I'd say I sold probably maybe uh, about 15 maybe. So not super, I wish they were, they would sell better, but that's okay. And then this is uh, all individually marked. Um, that is from the recent, I bought an, another Amazon box, that's from that. I did do another raffle, um, we already picked the winners, um, and uh, it's just so fun doing that. I gotta call my winners here right after this video. Um, I've got my nail polish from one of my other videos that I did. Oh, sorry, that's not nail polish. <laughs> this is jewelry. Yeah. So sold a lot of jewelry. People really, really liked it. Um, it's just, and it's just, it's just super fun. And I will link the jewelry unboxings in down below. Um, and just some other random stuff. I have my nail polishes. I finally marked these to 75 cents, which is basically what I paid for it. So if I can break even, that'd be great. And I still have so much left over. And then I've got all these other nail polishes for a dollar each. These came from a uh, Wholesale Ninja's lot of 300 bottles of polish. And I tell you what, I'm never ever buying nail polish again because it's hard to sell, even at these prices. Um, and then this is what's left of my HBA. I'm super happy. I sold at least one entire box of it and uh, whatever's left over, I'm probably gonna see if I can list it on eBay. I, I don't know. Uh, or just give give it away. Yeah. Um, and I got free candy. I ate some. It was so good. Anyway, so um, that is the 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 what happened this second yard sale. Um, sales this yard sale weren't as good as the first yard sale. I think the first yard sale was, you know, at the beginning of April when everyone had their tax money. So I think that's why that one did so well. It, it covered all three pallets. So I broke, kind of broke even. So the one caveat to that is I had a lot of theft at my last sale. Like, uh, yeah, they, I estimate I had about maybe $600 worth of electronics stolen. Um, that was stuff I paid for at, out of my pocket and um, it was really disheartening and it just really made me think like I just couldn't believe it honestly I just couldn't believe it and it, it really made me disappointed in people you know like why are you still at a yard sale right so um yesterday which was Saturday I made enough money I think it was enough money to cover my losses for that yard sale I had last month so today will be pure profit which is not going to be much but it's better than nothing I'm still and I, like you see I still have a lot left over um you know a lot left over those tables are you know still pretty full um I'm hoping that I'll get a couple more stragglers and I'm gonna close up shop around six o'clock um yeah I want to say some tips for having a good yard sale is a have a second person with you and my mom she already left but she came and helped me and she was tremendous and I don't think I had any theft this yard sale at all granted I didn't put out like a ton of electronics like I did last time um so that's number one and I guess that's number one is just have another body have a couple eyes with you because I couldn't watch everybody it was just me the last yard sale but um yeah, oh, and number two, I have a number two, is any really expensive items have on a table like behind your, like uh, this table, like this is the table I stood behind, like have a table behind you with all your electronics or your more expensive items, just to, you know, if someone wants to look at something, hey, here, 
you can look at it and that way there you know people aren't feeling more comfortable taking it you know so anyway um i'm walking around in circles aren't i i think that's a wrap um i really appreciate you guys uh watching and you know like this video subscribe and i'll catch you in the next one all right bye